In today's episode, we're going to be cleaning this wool shag style rug. And we also have a sofa and the love seat you could see here. And then behind the sofa love seat is a area rug. This is all wool as well. So we're going to move the tables, get everything out of our way. We got a beautiful view out there. He's going to be pre vacuuming all the furniture. I already vacuumed both rugs. Let's have a look out here. There's the mother in law's quarters down on the beach, and then the water just beyond the home there. Absolutely beautiful. All right, a nice deck out there as well. So when he's finished, vacuuming this we're going to do the case first i'll use what's called a high-tech foam there's the hoover hush tone oh yeah this is a crate and barrel and it says it is 70 percent polyester so we'll be hitting this with the green dragon and a little bit of Go Oxy, as well as some orange uh, Simply Citrus, the orange oil, to help break down the dirt. Then the rugs, we'll just be spraying those with the Green Dragon. Maybe a little bit of the orange oil as well. Alrighty. We'll get started here. Throw away some trash. And then what we'll do is I have, those are the sh covers for the wheels on the uh, swirly floor machine if we decide we need them. I have the orbital hand polisher. We've got some pads, a cotton pad, and I got a blue microfiber scrubbing pad we got the mitt the we just did two other sets of furniture earlier today there's the model number i don't know if you want to see that it is 35 dollars on amazon this thing is awesome i saw somebody in a Facebook group that was using it. I think it might have been um, uh, Bajorn, I think if that's how you pronounce his name. Marshall. So I saw him using it on stairs, I think, and I thought I'd try it out. But anyway, there it is again. 35 bucks, very good investment. It already comes with the Velcro hook and loop pad driver that's built onto it. And then, like I said, we did a bunch of furniture today, so I'm running low on pads. I could always use a microfiber cloth if I wanted to, but what I'm going to do is spray all of the pillows down with the Green Dragon, Go Oxy, and the Simply Citrus. And I'll be rinsing these pads out as we go. So we'll do a few cushions, and then we'll rinse it out. You just flip to another pad. And here's what I mean on the case. If we need to go over it with the polisher, we will. Look at that. Oh, goodness. But what we do is we pre-wet that microfiber cloth, that glove, and then spray the foam. Any type of safe furniture upholstery foam works. You know, the casing is usually out of the way because you have all the cushions and pillows that cover it. So it just needs a good vacuuming and then a hand cleaning with the uh, mitt. And then anywhere that maybe a dog has passed along or there's some dirt from people rubbing their hands along the sides, we'll use the orbital, clean it up. But uh, it makes it easier rather than uh, going through all the motions and spraying the, the case, which is really thin in most areas if you look at it, especially on the back side, it's just fabric stretched over the you can see the wood the wood panels in the back and sometimes there's cardboard sometimes there's a little bit of batting but not much so you want to be careful about over wetting the case 
start to get wrinkles and buckles and sometimes the wood or the staples can actually bleed through so this is my process this is the way i do it i actually have a, a foam called high tech that i had once upon a time had a sponsor that sent me some like several cases actually i think five cases and um so i've been using that up but if i didn't have that i think i would probably use uh the 409 upholstery foam you can get at Wal walmart and just maybe duct tape the can or put a sock over it you not for any reasons that you're hiding anything but sometimes um you know if if i had come in and i was using the 409 it strikes up a conversation and they don't realize that i'm just using the foam to clean the case and you don't want to have to go into detail on what you're doing there i mean you just do a good job if they're happy they're happy and the reason I say 409 is it is basically a hydrogen peroxide and a isoprol alcohol base in the foam. So totally safe. Just uh, be careful what you use it for. Again, this is polyester. But we sprayed it down with the works sprayer. And I don't want to overspray. You saw that feather come out. This crate and barrel unit is full of uh, like down feathers. And if you've ever done a light colored piece of upholstery like this, even polyester and you steam cleaned it and you overuse the water or you're not using the proper uh, hand tool. There are some hand tools, the scientific and some other ones that really just immediately draw up the solution. You put it out and it draws it up. So you're not really penetrating into the down feathers. But if you do it improperly and you over soak it, what happens is those feathers can create a like a browning effect. The whole sofa turns brown. Now you're you got to go back out. You got to use a citric acid rinse on it, neutralize all that uh, browning from the uh, alkaline and the over over wetting. <clears throat> so you don't want to do that. So when I say I use my work sprayer, I stand back. We're gonna be cleaning the rug underneath anyway, so I don't have to bring a tarp in or my painter's cloth. I'm just kind of carefully spraying the areas that we're doing. This is the microfiber scrubbing pad. All these pads, you can get the polar pads, the eight inch polar pads. Uh, white or gray. Uh, I'll be ordering some gray 8-inch polar pads. Um, they're fantastic. They're the same as the white one, except for they're not going to show the dirt. And then these, you can also get at NCAP store. And they come available in 8-inch. And I think the orbital that I'm using has a 6 or 7-inch. I think it's probably a 7-inch pad driver. So the 8-inch works out just absolutely perfect. There's the two swirlies on his t-shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, no tank on those though. Gotta fix that on my next t-shirts I make. But yeah, going back and forth, getting around the edge on the lip, and then I have these thick microfiber double-sided cloths. And what I do is when we're completely done, um, being that it is a light colored fabric, I take the cloth, it's very absorbent, and I'll just go over and just double dry any areas. That helps the sofa to dry quicker because we're not going to be leaving any air movers or anything like that on it. So I'll do the same thing to this one. Just moving along methodically here. We cleaned the case, so you move all your pillows off if you have to use a tarp or a painter's cloth do so move all that stuff off you expose the case vacuum everything out vacuum all your cushions okay. you want to uh, pre-clean your your case the outer the base of the furniture then go through each piece here and you want to set those at an angle on the couch so that there's some airflow in between it 
And if you choose to do what I'm doing, just kind of double check your work. Use a thick microfiber cloth. Dry up any loose moisture. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. This is a pretty good paying job because of the size of the upholstery, as well as all the accent pillows that are on it. Um, just for reference, I usually do about anywhere from 18 to $22 a linear foot, and that's measured from the backside. So I'll go on the back side of the couch, go all the way down. You might have nine feet there, eight or nine feet. Then I'll take the love seat. You might have seven feet there. So you're looking at roughly 16 feet and then multiply it out by anywhere from 18 to $22. You, roughly this one probably around $20 a linear foot because of the double-sided cushions. Check out this ottoman. Oh my gosh. Tell me the process does not work. The dirt is being absorbed into that microfiber pad. It's not being released back into the cushion. And when we're done, I'll, I'll snap a shot of it so you can see it's not, it's not uh, an illusion or anything. It's actually cleaning. This just happens to be right in there under the light. Yes, it's blowing my mind. He's doing a fantastic job here. You can see the orbital motion, moving that pad throughout the fiber, digging and cleaning. And this is what it did to the all of the cushions on the couch. Just really knocks out all the dirt and then we'll go back and we'll give it a microfiber cloth, just dry it up a little bit. I mean, that is a beautiful picture right there. My goodness. I'm going to have to come back in and snap that photo. Put that on my social media sites. Just restoring the look of this ottoman. My goodness. And you could see the procedure is not really difficult if I felt like this is always my the low moisture is always what I choose to do with furniture I just feel like it's the first and safest approach you have less problems and issues however you know we do have the furniture uh, 3.5 gallon extractor that you've seen us in recent videos removing uh, red wine and some dog puke so if we need it we got it but uh, usually that will be a last resort as this works just fantastic we already went over and scrubbed this rug with the neptune hogs hair pad and i also sprayed it really good and used the rolling rug renovator brush to agitate because the pile is so high sometimes the rotary will just lay the carpet in one direction and not clean all the way throughout so i wanted to make sure that i scrub deep and then we went over it with the hogs hair pad we went over it multiple directions and then we used an iron man pad both sides and you could see it absorbed out a lot of the soil and then lastly we're using two polar pads these are 17 inch polar pads to dry it up even more look at those results oh yeah it looks fantastic as well as the love seat looks fantastic and i think this is actually a sectional but they've got it in two separate pieces there's the other half there looking fantastic all the accent pillows have been cleaned and there's that beauty Oh yeah, totally restored. <laughs> so very easy process, but very effective. Everything smells fantastic, looks fantastic. Client is 100% satisfied or I wouldn't take any money, of course. I appreciate all my subscribers and viewers. 
Thank you for watching, and we will see you in our next episode.